So we have three subtypes of speech sound disorders, articulation, phonology-based, and motor speech disorders. Why is it important, right? They're all just misarticulated sounds, but no. They're all rooted in different, um, different things, right? So articulation is going to be our um, distortions of our speech sounds. Think a lisp. Phonology, that's going to be more of our rule-based speech sound errors. So think patterns like fronting, backing, gliding, emitting sounds, cluster reduction, that sort of thing. Then we have our motor speech uh, disorders, and this is all just as it sounds. It's um, a motor-based disorder. The coordination and the execution of what we need to do to get our words and our sounds out. And it's important to know what we're dealing with because each three subtypes are going to um, benefit from different types of intervention. For an articulation impairment, we might be looking at starting off in isolation, making our way up to words and phrases, sentences, reading and conversation. You get the idea. Um, we're gonna accept very precise productions of the speech sounds. We're not going to encourage approximations because that will just reinforce the error that was already existing. For phonology and our phonological processes, we need to teach the rules of our language, the rules of why does the sound need to go there um, and how does it impact the meaning of our word. So an example might be again, snow. S and N will give us snow. But if we get rid of that S, then we're just saying no. And that's gonna greatly impact our overall message. Um, for this, approximations are okay because sometimes that's what we need to get our articulators where we need them to, um, and then we can shape them from there. Then when it comes down to our motor speech disorders, such as apraxia or dysarthria, using the same strategies that we would for an articulation impairment are not going to be as effective. We need to help teach the motor planning and execution of what we need our articulators to do um, in order to be successful. So you might think, cycles approach, using minimal pairs, things of that sort. 